everyone uh, welcome again in the previous video i have explained what is bfs in graph so in this video i will explain what is dfs that is depth first search so i will highly recommend you so before proceeding to this video of dfs you must watch what is bfs dfs and bfs implementation in java so this two video you must watch so that uh, link also i will give in the description box as well as in the i icon okay so after watching this two video come to this video then only things will be much more clearer okay so now what is dfs so dfs means depth first search so it is a searching technique in graph or graph traversal technique also you can say so here what we have to do is we have to start from some point then for a particular neighbor node we have to go deep and then we have to finish that node then we have to come back and then we have to go deep and then we have to come back like that fashion in bfs we used to traverse level by level so each and every level we used to complete then we used to move to the next level but in this case whatever node we are traversing we will go deepest of that level then we will come back like that manner and if you remember for dfs uh, to implement dfs we need a stack because to keep track of like what we have visited before then to start from that point so stack will have a uh, important role to play here okay so suppose this is a graph i have taken for my example and this is the adjacency list representation of the same graph so zero has a uh, adjacent nodes like three and one that is maintained in a linked list and then one has two and four two has five as the adjacent node then three has no adjacent node sorry when zero is the adjacent node for three and four has no adjacent node that is null and five has adjacent node as six and six is adjacent node as null now how we will traverse in dfs manner so suppose my starting point is zero so from zero we are starting whatever node we are starting or picking that we will put in a stack okay and in the next iteration i will pop from the stack and print that so what we will do is now zero is there i will pop zero and print it so while printing zero i will see what are the adjacent nodes of zero those nodes i will put it back in stack so that is 3 and 1 is the adjacent nodes for zero so i will put it back in the stack so 3 and 1 i will put it inside the stack again in the next iteration i will again pop the element top element that is 1 and print so one i popped from here and i printed then i will check what are the adjacent nodes for one that is 2 and 4 i will push those 2 and 4 in stack 2 and 4 i pushed in the next iteration i will pop four again and print then i will check what are the adjacent nodes for four as there is no adjacent nodes for four i don't have to push anything in the stack then i will pop 2 and i will print 2 then for 2 i will check what are the adjacent nodes that is 5 then i will push 5 in the stack okay now in next iteration i have to pop 5 and print so i popped and print 5 here then i have to check what is the adjacent node for 5 that is 6 the 6 i will put it inside the stack or push it then 6 is inside the stack then in next iteration i have to pop 6 and print then for 6 i will check is there any adjacent nodes are there but for 6 there is no adjacent nodes so in next iteration i have to pop 3 so when i pop 3 i printed and for 3 i am checking if there is any adjacency nodes are there or not so for 3 the adjacency node is 0 but as 0 is already a visited node i will not 
take it into the consideration okay and now i can check the stack is empty so i will follow this operation until and unless the stack is empty and as the stack is empty now i can see this is the result for dfs traversal 0142563 it may be very slight uh, differently also if we are uh, suppose instead of 3 and 1 i am taking here 1 and 3 or 4 or 2 as my adjacent uh, nodes then this result can vary a bit but the core concept is same so now we will check how we can implement it in a, a program so now we will implement uh, the dfs algorithm okay so before that uh, i must tell you to watch this bfs implementation video because there i have created this graph and initialize graph and how the graph structure is maintained everything i talked about in that video okay so in this video i will just show you how to implement dfs means if you see here this is the graph structure and uh, here i have uh, maintained the number of vertices and the constructor and how to add a edge then bfs is implement here so now in this video i will only talk about how to implement dfs so i will create a method here called public void dfs okay and what this method will take is it will take one starting point and starting nodes uh, number it will need okay then what you have to do is same as bfs i have to maintain one visited queue sorry visited uh, boolean visited array so which will contain v number of uh, vertices so i have to mark them so generally it will be all false so if a node is visited i have to mark it as a true here okay and so if you remember in bfs i implemented one queue so but here actually for dfs implementation we need a stack so stack i have to implement so stack i can get from util class itself in java okay uh, and then what you have to do the first element which uh, means the starting point that i have to push inside the stack this one okay so next next what i mentioned in this uh, previous logic discussion is i have to go through this stack until and unless it is empty okay so if stack dot empty so if stack is not empty then only we have to do these operations so first we have to do is uh, i have to pick the top element okay so if we have to pick the top element uh, that we have to assign in some uh, integer variable so as the work of this integer s is over so we can reassign or make use of this variable itself so stack dot pick okay so stack dot pick will uh, give me the result like uh, looks at the object at the top of the stack without removing it from the stack so it will just give me the result which is present in the uh, top but it will not remove in next part we have to uh, remove that okay pop actually will remove okay and it will return the object also means i can combine this two line also because the return type of this pop is s only okay then what i have to do is i have to print this one so the number i am getting that i have to print and i have to give some space here to print in a line tab format okay so this print ln also i have removed because otherwise it will print in new line then this node is visited means s actually already visited so what i will do is uh, in the visited array 
in that position i will make it as a true means that is visited and one more thing is before printing s i have to check if this is not visited then only i have to print it or mark it as visited so if it is not visited then only i will so if visited of that position is if that is false then only i will print that number and make it as visited okay so now what i have to do is whatever node i just printed i have to check what are the adjacent node for that so that i will get from the adjacency list so if i get the like for getting the link list means adjacent uh, list of that node what i have to do is uh, i have to check in eighth s position from there i can get the uh, link list so suppose from zero we have started so three and one so this link list will contain three and one for the first run so what you have to do now these two numbers uh, this one and three that are adjacent list that i have to put it back in the stack so if i iterate over this uh, so if i iterate over this uh, adjacency list and if this is not visited so if it is not visited then i have to push it to the stack okay so whenever uh, the whole program will complete means my stack will be empty then uh, my job is over okay so now if we have to run this program Mm, as bfs i am starting from zero what i can do is i can enable this thing so dfs traversal from vertex zero and then i am calling this method okay uh, let's run this program okay so the output is coming as zero three one two five six four for uh, dfs so from 0 they are starting then they are going to node 3 and from 3 actually there is no node to visit then they are going 1 from 1 they are going deep to 2 then to 5 then to 6 and they are printing then they are coming back to 1 and then they are printing 4 okay so this is the way we can do a dfs traversal but if you look at bfs traversal the result is a bit different because it is doing level by level from 0 actually they went to 1 and 3 uh, both and then for uh, 1 actually they went to 4 and 2 then for 3 nothing was there then for 2 actually it went to 5 and then for 5 it went to 6 okay so level by level order and here actually one node full deep level then come back that fashion so this is all about BFS and DFS okay so for whom actually it is new because uh, this how this graph is defined how this constructor is formed and all for them i will must recommend to uh, see the first video means the bfs video that time actually i implement the whole thing so for the dfs video i just only implemented this method okay because rest of the part was already done so please watch the previous video then come to this video okay and in the comment section please uh, write if there is any doubt uh, and the programming link, the GitHub link also, I will provide in the description box. Thanks for watching.